Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night, and welcome to another episode from me, Avamance. And today, I've got something really quite exciting. Wireless redstone. Yeah, wireless redstone. Redstone without wires. Wires are no longer required in this redstone build. As a result of the new snapshot, 20W10A, we have got the ability to now do a number of different things, but one of the ones that excites me the most is that of wireless redstone. What on earth are you talking about, Avamance? Well, I'm gonna tell you. Now, this idea came to me when I was talking to my mate Gobspit, who's created a really simple and really thin piston door. The link is in the description below for that video. It's actually really, really nice and really, really clever. Do go and have a look at it. But it made me think, okay, what has he actually done there? What has he made? And what he's made is wireless redstone, and he's done it using this new block, the target block. The target block works by, basically, if it gets hit by a projectile weapon, so an arrow, for example, it lets out a redstone signal, just a redstone pulse. And as a result of that, you can start to power objects from a distance, and it's actually really, really simple to do. The amplitude of the redstone pulse depends on how close to the center of the target that you hit. So allow me to demonstrate. We've got a redstone line going up to 15 here. If I hit this block right on the edge, I only get that signal strength of two. If I hit it a little bit closer to the middle there, I get a much bigger signal strength. And if I hit it right bang in the middle, I get a signal strength all the way to the end. Or actually it's not quite to the end, is it? That's quite interesting. Is that because I just missed? Let me see. Bang. You get signal strength. Ah, it's not entire. I thought it was all the way, but you get you get the point. It is a stronger signal strength depending on how close to the center you hit. So if you only want a tiny little signal, bang, you've got a signal strength of one. It's actually a really clever block, but you can start to use this in a number of different ways. And if you were to take a redstone repeater and pop that in there, like that, it then doesn't matter where on the target you hit, you are always gonna get a signal strength of 15. Now, obviously that one's not coming on because I blocked it out there. So if we take that one step further and take the person out of the equation and automate it, what we can do is we can get a machine that if we press a button that is not linked anywhere in any way to any redstone, it can over a distance create a redstone signal. So if I just hit that, that fires an arrow and it shoots the machine. That's traveled redstone wirelessly. One, two, three, four, five. You can see that. Now you could go a few steps further. So I set up just a little experiment here to see how high we could shoot an arrow and it effectively stick into the target and create a redstone signal. So with that in mind, I'm gonna just hit that button and we're gonna see it worked all the way up to 11, it actually worked up to 11 blocks high. That is insane. So if we can take that one little bit further, how exciting would that be? Now I've done some experiments and it seems a gap of five is actually optimal because if you go higher than five, you do have a chance of the arrow going wayward one way or the other and not actually hitting the block at all. But this is a tower that is 55 blocks high from this base and has absolutely no redstone wire apart from obviously this bit here. And I'm going to fire and see if we can't get those up there to turn on. Yes, it did. Oh yes, let's do it again, let's do it again. So it's fire, up it goes, up it goes, and on they turn. So that is a wireless redstone tower that hasn't got any torches, it's got big gaps, it's really resource efficient. And I think this is a massively important step forward in redstone and redstone mechanics in Minecraft. Redstone without wires that can go north, south, east, west, up or down completely. It's, in fact, if you go down actually, you could probably fire an arrow way, way further than you can if you go up. That's amazing, brilliant. This is really very interesting to me. What could you do with this? Where would you normally have a redstone tower? Obviously, piston doors, Gobspit has already demonstrated that. You could get farms going, you could get mob farms, you could get all sorts of things going with this wireless system. Really resource efficient, and I'm really excited to work out what we can do with this moving forwards when 116 comes out. If you have enjoyed this video, please do remember to slap that like button. It'd be great to know you're enjoying it, and I will keep on making them. Also, if you've not done it already, please do hit that subscribe button. It'd be great to see you in my sub club, and I look forward to seeing you in another video. You take it easy now. Bye.